Yo, what's going on guys? Today's video I want to talk about the Chaos Recipe Enhancer tool, which is actually a video that has been requested a lot by you guys. So in case you don't know what Chaos Recipe is, it's basically you need a full set of uh, items, so one chest, two one-handed weapons or one two-handed, uh, boots, uh, gloves, helmet, belt, two rings and one amulet, and you can sell them for two Chaos Orbs. If uh, even one of the items is going to be unidentif uh, identified, it is going to be just one chaos. And also all of the items have to be at least item level 60, which means usually you want to start doing chaos recipe around uh, blood aqueducts. But this is a pretty annoying uh, way to make currency because as you can see here, when you're gonna loot a lot of these items, you're gonna put them in your stash and then you're gonna have to browse through it and search where is the weapon, where are the chests, do you even have amulet or rings, so it is pretty annoying. But this is when Chaos Recipe uh, Enhancer tool comes in with help. So here you have a lot of settings which I am actually uh, gonna go through uh, in a second, but first let me show you how it works. So we're gonna press one button and here you're gonna have a list of all of your items uh, from your stash, so from this one stash tab. Then you can press the second button, which is just going to refresh it, so it's not going to do anything in here. And the most important one is the third one, which is this, and it is going to show you the all of uh, the order of the items that you should take them from your stash to uh, do Chaos Recipe. And if you do it correctly, you should be able to fit two sets in your uh, inventory. So you just do the order, so it shows you the chest, you click on it, then the weapons, helmet, gloves, boots, belt, two rings, amulet, and then it shows you a new set. So again, chest, two weapons, helmet, boots, gloves, uh, boots, two rings, and amulet. And as you can see, I did fit two sets. Uh, also, the important thing is when you're going to be selling these items to the vendor, and also you can just uh, close it with uh, another just one button. The important thing is to sell the items in order from the biggest one to the smallest one, because if you're going to do something like sell the helmet, then a ring, which is a small item, then let's say chest, uh, weapon, then you just continue with uh, whatever other items you have, uh, you might end up in a situation like this where you can't fit the belt because uh, you don't have uh, like two slots to fit the belt. So the best way to avoid situations like this is to follow the order just big items first, then medium ones, and uh, at the end go with amulets and rings. And this way you will always be able to sell two sets to a vendor at the same time. Okay, so now let's go over how to set up the tool. So first of all, you have to download it from uh, this website. I'm going to uh, link it in the description. And then you're going to have something like this. So here, here you want to just type your account name and here your POE session ID, which is uh, the most important part. So the way you get it is you just go to your uh, profile in POE. You just have to log in. Then you go in here, go to the uh, more tools and developers tools. And you want to go to the cookies, Path of Exile. And here there is going to be name POE session ID. And here you have value. But, uh, and this is basically what you want to copy, but you don't want to show it to anyone. This is why I am like hiding it in here. You can only see one. You don't want to show it anywhere. Uh, so this is a thing that you can just copy and paste in here and then you choose the league obviously when the new league launches you just you're just gonna uh, choose it in here but for now i'm testing it in standard here obviously you want to take tick the chaos recipe because this is what you want to do and here you can put how many sets you want to uh, maximum have in your stash this is going to matter especially later when i'm gonna go over the filter how to uh, help yourself with the uh, filter settings so for me, I put it on 10. Maximum should be 16 because this is the amount of uh, uh, items that can fit in the one uh, quad tab. And also, by the way, this works with the normal uh, tab, but it is definitely better to just use a quad tab. Here, uh, the target is going to be your stash. I guess if you play in, with guild, you can use guild stash. Uh, stash of query mode ID, and this is basically what it's going to do. 
is that it is going to choose a stash counting from uh, zero uh, from your left side. So here I'm using this tab for chaos recipe. So here I just typed zero. And that's basically it in terms of uh, this, uh, this tab. Here you should have everything uh, just by default. I don't think I changed here anything. Everything is going to be just set up this way. Uh, in the loot filter, and this is the uh, another good option for this uh, tool, is you can tick the loot filter manipulation. And what this is going to do is now I have my loot filter turned on. And when I go to, let's say, Bad Aqueducts, it is going to show all of the items colored. So for me, chest is steel, weapon is red, helmet is like a purple pink or whatever. So here you can see uh, the uh, all of the colors. So you can obviously set them up yourself. And here you can see that I did that full set threshold in my stash 10. So when you see in here, it is counting all of the items that I have in my stash. And if you reach this number of items in your stash, the loot filter is actually going to stop showing them. So this is basically a way to just not clutter your stash with, let's say, like 50 chests, but you don't have any gloves or something like that. So this is why you want to set your threshold, I would say anywhere between 10 and 15. So let me just show you right now how it looks like. So I'm just going to set a threshold now to two, only so only two sets. And to refresh it, you actually need to change location first. Now I am going to press the button. And here you can see it is grayed out. I'm going to go back to the uh, blood aqueducts. And now it's actually still showing it. But what you need to do is you need to reload your filter. And now you can see it is not showing anymore. Uh, you might think that it is annoying to just constantly have to change zone and reload and so on, but it's actually not that bad because usually you're gonna do chaos recipe in like a series. So you're gonna just pick up a bunch of items. Once you have like five or maybe 10 sets, then when you're going to just refresh it and uh, reload your filter to not pick up uh, the items that you don't need anymore. And by the way, the all of these buttons that I am talking about are set up in here. So here is the uh, fetch uh, stash. So this is the refresh to update all of the numbers in your stash. And it also happens uh, automatically from time to time. Uh, F1 is just to show you the overlay. So for me, it is F1. And F3 is to show the stash overlay for the uh, well, your stash. And here you can press edit to make it a bit larger, a bit smaller, because it depends on your like resolution and stuff. You might want to edit it a bit to fit your uh, stash. And again, for the filter, you can choose which filter you want this tool to edit. So here you just uh, show your path to your filter. So it usually be uh, my games, Path of Exile in here. Let's say I want my early mapping and this is basically a filter that is going to be edited. So the only things that it is going to do is edit the colors of the uh, types of armor and also if they show up on your filter or not, if this number is going to be reached. So again, I would go back to 10. And yeah, that's basically it. So just some uh, things up when you want to do it is you want to set one of your uh, stashes as chaos recipe stash, you're going to put all of your chaos recipe items in here. Then you're going to continue mapping, let's say, or do some endless size. And after a while, you are, uh, you maybe have like half of your inventory, or maybe you just need some additional chaos. You're going to press this button. You're going to uh, maybe refresh the zone once, or if you just left the map, it is just going to be refreshed. So you don't need to do it. Then you press your uh, refresh. You check your, you check here how many sets you have ready. So here I know I have two sets ready. So I would press another button. You do the chaos recipe, and then you go back to mapping. If a certain number has been reached, and maybe you have like a ton of chests, you just uh, press a reload filter. And if you have more than let's say ten chests, uh, it is gonna stop showing them for you. And here you also can tick which things you want always to be active. And most of the time you want rings and amulets to always be active. 
sometimes bells because these are the items that you will usually need the most so you will always want to show them even if you reach higher numbers than 10 so they will just show all the time so that's basically it i hope i uh, didn't miss anything if anything is unclear obviously you can ask in the comments but that's gonna be it for this video thanks for watching and see you next time